please. Eric, you guys, I guess, fell behind by 13, fought back, and I think made it made it got as close as three. Just kind of what you think was the difference in the second half? You scored 42 after scoring 24. Yeah, Bob, I thought we had good ball movement. I, had, I thought we had good uh, spacing. Um, you know, ran more uh, middle pick and rolls. Um, you know, but the, I mean, the three for, for 21 from three and you know, I mean, if you're a shooter, you got to make open shots. And, and uh, you know, I thought the, you know, we, we did a great job on their leading score. Um, you know, he made one field goal. It was on a broken play, broken pass. Um, you know, he's a really talented, Abdul Rahim's a really talented player and a great three-point shooter. And he's a high-volume free-throw attempt player. We kept him off the foul line. Held him scoreless for almost the entire game, or I should say without a field goal. Um, but I thought there, you know, the difference in the game was, was some of their shooters making shots. Kane came in and went one of one from three and Noah Thomason goes three for six from three. And, um, you know, their freshman number four goes one of three and, and Justin Hill comes in and, and, and Hill goes three for seven from three. And then, and then you look at our three point numbers. If you look at every other statistical category, both teams shot 22, uh, foul shots, um, you know, the turnovers are, are 15 to, to 13. You bring up, why did we, you know, score 42, one half and 24, the other, I, we took much better care of the basketball, five second half turnovers, uh, as opposed to, um, you know, the, the, the 10 turnovers that we had at halftime. Uh, so did a really bad job taking care of the basketball in the first half and, uh, second half took a little bit better care of the basketball. And then they were able to convert those. I think they had 14 some points off turnovers in the first half and then finished with a 25 to 10 edge. Obviously, that seemed to be the key stat. How, what, what was your take on that? I mean, they played better than us. Curtis? Unless I'm, I'm sure after Saturday coming into this game, some of the things you were looking for were the, you know, the toughness and competitive spirit and everything like that. It, it could have gone sideways on you there, down double digits at halftime, got it back to one possession game, didn't get the results you wanted. But I guess from that standpoint, is that that closer to what you're looking for from this team? Yeah, I mean, I thought we played hard, Curtis. I mean, again, we, we come out of timeouts and have, you know, I mean, at least three times wide open looks and, uh, and miss them. And then they come down and, and there's, I mean, their shooters are making shots and ours are not, I, I mean, I don't know. And then we're, you know, we're, we're obviously not the defensive team uh, that we've been over the last four years. We're not, we're not guarding the ball like we have. We're certainly not guarding the three point shot. And so uh, if you're, if your overall team defense uh, is not up to what it's been in the past, then your offense um, should be better. And um, I mean, three for 21, I mean, we had a bunch of defenders in the past that, that could go three for 21. Hutch. Yeah, Coach T-Mark did most of his damage in the second half. Just what did you see out of him after halftime? Is that something that y'all maybe addressed at, at the break? Well, yeah, we moved him to the point. And, um, you know, his middle pick and roll, uh, he was phenomenal. I mean, he goes 10 of 10 from the foul line. We only take 22 foul shots. He takes 10 of the – 22 um thought he was super effective he leads us in rebounding you know our two guards did a great job on the glass Debo and and T-Mark um so you know I thought he did a good job attacking the basket and and he had three steals in area you know we've been talking about trying to create more turnovers and and certainly his, uh, you know, his three steals are, are things that we're looking for. Keon Minifield had been really good for you since he's gotten eligible. Uh, just what, what do you think was the went into his performance tonight? Was it just an off night for him? Did Georgia do anything differently against him? Well, I mean, they were, they were trapping the pick and roll, but he's, he struggled in both, both SEC games. I mean, uh, these guards are strong. They have good size. Um, but he's, I mean, he, he has definitely struggled um, in conference play. Bob, final question. Uh, okay. I, I don't know if we're going to get you before the Florida game, but just, I, I know this game's obviously fresh, but what, what are your thoughts about staying on the road and 
and having to play another tough, tough team on the road come Saturday. Yeah, I mean, Florida's a team that can win the SEC. Um, I don't know what the results were tonight, which which is irrelevant because uh, I know how good a coach Todd Golden is. I've known him for a long time. Um, not often do coaches have camaraderie. I, I actually talked to Todd earlier today. Um, they're big. They rebound. They have great guard play. Uh, they're well-connected. They play extremely hard. They play very, very fast. Um, you know, they're they're one of the top – tier teams in, in, in the SEC. There's no question. They have an opportunity. They're not just an NCAA tournament team. Uh, you know, they're a team that that can win games in the tournament for sure. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it.